Hello guys, well Scott Tucker here, Billy. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to make a little video. I haven't been shooting in a while, guys. Just ain't been doing good. My damn knees are giving out. Got cataracts and it just really sucked. This summer has been a bad summer. My wife's not doing good, so hell, I guess a lot of people got problems. It just kind of sucks. But I'm muddling through, but plus it's been so damn hot. And when I go shooting and it's this damn hot, my glasses fog up and I can't see a damn thing. But not too long ago, a lot of you guys follow uh, Rob on Hamilton Outdoors. He finally showed us uh, Reloading Basics Digital Scale, and it's got a powder trickler. And I just mentioned to him, I like to have a powder trickler for when I load my rifle rounds. And he was so nice enough, he gave it to me. And he said, why don't I do a video kind of showing being in use? So right now, I got my press all set up for some 9mm cartridges because I don't have my... Uh, dies prepped i mean my brass prepped yet for my 5.56 or my 308 or nothing so this was the easiest thing to set up i tried it the trickler still works good for this this loading i'm setting up is a 124 grain round nose just projectile i think i might be everglades full metal jacket on this one i'm using some ran shot silhouette pistol powder and I got a new jug here that I bought years ago because this is a four pound jug and I'm looking at a price tag and I give $75.99 for four pounds. So you know how long I've been sitting on this one sitting over here in the corner of the room. I got a couple four pound jugs of different powder like this. So hell, I'm good for powder really for a while what I shoot. Okay, so what I really want, I'm hoping to achieve is, uh, no, the max that I'm wanting to achieve is 5.3. I had these dyed, my powder throw measure set up for some, uh, I can't remember what I was shooting now, another powder, but it's kind of almost the same flake. I think this is going to throw about a five grains, and I want about 5.2 to be ideal. So instead of me adjusting my powder throw, that it's still set up for the other powders, what I'm getting at, this trickler will work out fine. Let's see how it works here. And I've got... Uh, I've got another set of scales here. These are them uh, Frankfurt Arsenal little scales. And uh, I think they're about a tenth of a grain with each other. I hope you can see if I get my hand out of the way. I just dumped it. Okay, if you can see it on the scale, it should be 5.0. So let's go over here to this Reloading Basics and dump it in there. And it's 5.0 if you can see it. Okay, that works great. So now for me to get my 5.2, which I think this is going to work out neat, I can just turn my little trickler here. There's 5.1. There's 5.2. Oop, got 5.3. 5.3 is the max. That was my mess up there. So let's try another one just to see how it works. I'll dump this powder back in my jug here. And I'll dump another one here real quick. But I did like for the fact that these two, uh, and they, they're they within a tenth of a grain on my RCBS 505 balance beam scales. So they're being they're real consistent. All right, there's 4.9, which is not bad. I thought I was shooting five, ping, five grains of the drop, so I was wanting to achieve my 5.2. There's 5.2. Oop, there's 5.3. It don't take much to get to 5.2, guys. There's 5.2. So, this is going to work great. I got my little powder funnel here. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm going to pour my powder right there out of my pan. And, of course, this is what I'm getting at. I will probably, if I'm wanting to load several hundred rounds, I will probably adjust the powder flow to shoot a little bit closer now because my handgun rounds... I'm not that particular, but I just wanted to show you how good the scale does work uh, on this. So it'll work, it'll work great for my rifle rounds. And i seen in the directions and thought about having this scale away from, on a different table, say, than your press is on because they thought maybe the shaking. I have went through the motions on this turret press, like I'm loading shells, say 15, 20 shells. This thing never bumped off zero i zeroed it in 
a couple of days ago and it's still fine. Every time I turn on, it does zero it out and it's holding perfect. So I think it's a, it's a win-win. And I thank you very much, Rob. This is going to be great for my rifle rounds. And if I really want to get particular with my handgun rounds, it's going to work great for that also. But uh, it's a real neat little scale. The powder trickler never had one. That's going to be phenomenal, like I said, my rifle rounds. Because sometimes I get different loadings. And you finally find that pet load, like I said, if I have my 308 or something, that uh, you can get some pretty damn dead nuts accuracy with them once you get your pet round set up. You want to achieve that every time the best of your ability. Just like when you trim your brass. I mean, I'm not a precision shooter. But when I'm shooting a rifle round, I like to have it as good as I can get it. Because I think I can do it better than a factory round. Anyway, thought I'd show you guys. This is five and a half minutes into the scale. It's reloading basics. I don't know the model number. I think it's like ER 200 or something like that. I got the book somewhere. I did. Oh, here it is. Right here. So I'll do Rob some justice here. This scale is the ER, ERS 2000. And it's a nice little scale. If you want to think about getting one with a powder trickler, I think it works great. Only thing I had to do to it that, uh, and it wasn't nothing against the scale, I had to rub my pan pretty good with the old wore out dryer sheet to get the static out of my pan there so my grains all drop and nothing stays in my pan there. Still need to wipe a little bit more. It's like it had a little film of sticky crap in it. I still get a grain and it'll stick it. I don't know if y'all can see it. I got one, two grains stuck in it. That bugs me. So I'll probably wipe it out again with that dryer sheet to get it clean. All right, guys. As always, old hippie loves you. God bless. Talk to you later.